Good morning and welcome back. It is November 13th. It's a Monday morning about 9.15 a.m. I have a few things to show off. Uh, we had a relatively decent weekend. I finally finished the wedding invitations for my sister. My shoulders are just about dead <laughs> from cranking that die through the cuddle bug. My husband was a big help yesterday. Um, she came to pick them up last night. Hopefully I never ever have to see them again. <laughs> um, and I got a few other small little projects done. I hauled uh, last week these little baskets that I picked up from the Dollar Tree that I wanted to use to hold some pro projects in progress. And I really love them. Um, it's working out great. I'm able to kind of keep together some of the components that I'm working on for a current project. In this case, I'm working on Christmas cards using the Lawn Fawn Ready Shake, Ready Set Shake set. Uh, so I'm kind of keeping all of my stuff together. I made a batch over the weekend that came out adorable, and I'm going to make tons more this week. This is uh, a bat, one of the cards from the batch that I made over the weekend. I decided to use non-traditional Christmas colors. I've got the pink and purple in there. So I'm going to make more of the pink and purple and I'm also going to do some greens and blues and yellows and oranges and using my Distress Oxide inks. I really, really love how this turned out. It's absolutely adorable. This particular card, um, I made a set of cards for one of my Happy Meal friends and this, um, this particular card is for her but I made another set that she can use for her own use and I've already I've already written her the the note and things and I'll get it sealed up I just didn't I just wanted to show it off before I sealed it up so I am done with my snowman flip book and I wanted to show that off and I also have a few few more things from the Dollar Tree over the weekend to show and we also went a very rare trip to Walmart yesterday the whole family so I found a couple crafty things on Clarence there I wanted to show off as well so I really do just wanted to I really do like these baskets and I have a few more that I'm working on I have um, a couple more projects already all sorted out and these are adorable <laughs> and they got their various stamp sets with them all ready to go and when I'm done with one I'll just keep on trucking with the others. Okay, so for my flip book, the theme was an envelope flip book. Um, and I've shown this before, uh, but it, this it's complete now. And I showed this a few weeks ago when it was kind of in, in the works. So these are large envelopes that I made an accordion kind of binding for it and then glued the envelopes into them to make a flip book using the envelopes and with the pockets I'm able to fill with some goodies and to decorate them. I'll probably make another one of these and show in another video uh, in the future when I get get started on the next one. I'll show um, how I did that but it's actually pretty simple. Uh, let's see so this is the front and I have it embellished with a few of the um, embellishments that came from another Happy Meal from a friend like a month ago. These gorgeous uh, snowflake, silver and white snowflake embellishments. And you'll see those all throughout here. But they went to good use here. I thought it worked out well with my... Um, with my theme here. I wanted to try to keep to... Uh, some Christmassy colors, but mostly pastel blues and silvers. This is a washi tape from Recollections that I found in my stash that I thought would be nice to trim. This is that refrigerator magnet from uh, the Dollar Tree that I picked up last week, and I thought that the the outline of the blues matched really, really well. And it's not it's not tacked down very hard. I just have a, a couple little pieces of tape behind it. So if my friend wanted to remove these and use the magnets as decoration on her, on her fridge, awesome. Um, and I made a couple of just little snowman paper clips using the Cricut Print and Cut and some paper clips and my hot glue gun that I'm gonna include in there. So this is the front and we open the first patch here this is um, and I've included this die cut here I made some extras and I've actually included them in the pocket here so that my friend can use them on her projects here's another one of those magnets um, and here's a little embellishment that I got from another Happy Meal friend I think 
So this particular die cut here, this holographic, I don't know if you can tell, but it's holographic, hello. I die cut from an American Express spam envelope. They have the most beautiful, bright holographic envelopes. <laughs> I shred all of the contents because we have no interest in American Express, but I keep the envelopes because they actually die cut very nicely and make really cute little sentiments. So that's where that came from. And inside this pocket, we have those frozen stickers because it has Olaf. Again, this is a snowman themed flip book. And I have some just other snowman type die cuts in here that I've made and just embossed pieces of paper that she can use to be crafty. And the, I've shown this before, the Olaf um, gift tag or ornament that I made, the shaker. I made a bunch of those uh, several weeks ago and I've already kind of shown them off. I used the Cricut uh, Cricut print and cut to make the Olaf from the frozen cartridge. Here's those die cuts that are in here. Okay, so that's this first packet, and then I have the cover of this next envelope. These are little snowman stickers that I think came from um, Peggy from her October swap. I think these came from Peggy, but I thought they made cute little ornaments here to decorate my little tree. And these are... Um, Novo Drops, which I love. And here's just a ribbon that I made. And then we have the next page, this adorable snowman, which is paper pieced from Cricut. This is um, a Cricut subscriber file. And this packet is just filled with more embossed papers and some paper buttons that I had made. And I even those little lollipops from the Dollar Tree, these little can canvases for painting. I've got some pencils jammed down there. I've got some white hot chocolate. A lot of stuff. This this envelope is quite stuffed. I might actually have to rearrange it a bit off camera to, to get it to lay down flat. Okay, so the next side is I made two of those die cuts for my niece that I had showed off last week. So here's the other one. And I treated the horsey with some Wink of Stella to kind of make it look like a Christmas shimmery carousel horse. Not particularly snowman, but I thought it was really pretty and it kind of matched um, the matting that I have here for my pattern paper. So I just, whatever. <laughs> and here are some more embellishments with uh, silver glitter embellishments and some more uh, magnets from that magnet set. These are really cute. I like them a lot. I might get more. Okay, so the next flap here, another magnet, and this paper, this paper pack actually came from my mother-in-law like 10 years ago, <laughs> uh, and I'm really, really sparing with using it because I'm pretty sure it's not made anymore and I can't replace it. So in this one, I've got just um, a stamp set and some, uh, like a, in, just an inexpensive acrylic stamp set. I've got some embossing powders and confetti that I've made and that set that I mentioned of cards that I made with that Lawn Fawn stamp. I've got cards and envelopes already all packed up here as a little gift. And then here we go again, more snowman with the Christmas birds. This is another magnet. I just thought it was great and it matched the paper really nicely. And then flipping to the last page, this is possibly my favorite side here. I've got the foil doily that came from another Happy Mail and some more of those snowman die cuts. And this one has got another stamp set in it, more papers. We've got some snowman gift tags that I believe I've shown off before, but I finished decorating them with some more of those die cuts. Um, I've got some watercolor paper that I've stamped for watercoloring. There's like a little um, planner in here, a little 2018 planner in here. And then that's about it. So this all folds up and I'm gonna have to rearrange it just a little bit. I'm gonna put this in a box and ship it that way. Uh, so I'll, I will we'll rearrange it just a tad and get it wrapped up in some bubble wrap and get that box because it's, it's shipping out today. I also made my buddy a lollipop. Woo! And I have a snowman on a wobbler on one side and then just a pretty uh, sequin uh, pattern that I made on the other side and then of course the card which I've already shown you and those will all Get boxed up and shipped out today. This has truly been a labor of love and probably my favorite project of all of 2017 not just 
not just for Happy Meals this winter. <clears throat> okay, so I've already shown off my baskets. Now on to just some quick other stuff. Uh, we went to the... My husband was promoted over the summer to store manager from assistant manager and given his own store. Uh, he has just recently learned that the store, the location that he's in, the previous manager, was transferred to another location himself. When he left, he took all of the store's really good Christmas decorations with him to decorate his new store. So, and they only get like $20 a year or something just completely unfair to, as a budget to decorate their their stores, but the company judges each location on its Christmas decorations, and they actually get written up if it's not Christmassy looking enough. Go figure. Corporate America, right? So we went to, with his $20 budget, we went to the Dollar Tree yesterday, and my husband went to see what he could find, and he found a few things. We picked out a few things. Um, something that I am going to do for him. I'm not going to show off his whole haul, but we did grab some some just plain stockings, uh, one for him and each of his three employees, and I'm going to put the employees' names on them somehow and kind of decorate them. And maybe I'll just wrap some empty boxes or something just to have kind of some presents peeking out the top. <clears throat> very, very interesting. <laughs> so also at the Dollar Tree yesterday, I grabbed, I wish that I had had this a day earlier, um, some... Uh, white out or cover up as as Bic is calling it. I grabbed a jar of white out because I had wished that I had had some the day before and I didn't and then I saw some at Dollar Tree and I was like, you know what, for a dollar I'm getting it because you never know. And they had done, since Leah and I had been there the week before, they did their sticker section reset. So I grabbed a package of these stickers and I'm kind of, I'm feeling very because uh, I just, you know, I've been, I read Apollo 8 and my daughter read a little bit of a, the book about Apollo 8 and we watched Apollo 13 together because it's like the closest thing that I have uh, to that. Um, so I, I'm feeling very space exploration-y lately. And I do have, um, I do have a couple of space themed stamp sets that I had picked up for birthday cards like a year ago or whatever. Um, so I'm thinking this might make a really nice theme for a pocket letter. I don't know if I'm gonna have any time to work on them anytime soon, but I'm definitely gonna save these for that and make a pocket letter that's space themed. And also along the same token, these stickers are adorable and of course we had to pick it up because look, it's a bunny rabbit. We love buns. Uh, so I thought this might make for a cute birthday themed happy mail for a friend. They had a bunch more, but I didn't pick any up because we go to Dollar Tree often enough. Thought it should happen. So after the Dollar Tree, we um, we ran really quick to uh, Walmart to pick up a few things. And excuse me, I'm walking away for just a second because I forgot to grab something. So we went to Walmart. My husband had some things that he was looking for, but um, I wanted to check out the clearance and also. Um, we've had to get a gift for my niece. <clears throat> my niece's birthday party is coming up this weekend, and I've shown already the um, the card and the lollipop that I made for her. So I had, I'd have, had to get her a gift. So I couldn't find anything that I thought, and I had my daughter with me, and she's just, uh, you know, eight months younger than her cousin. They're in the same grade. I would have thought that she would have been more helpful picking something out, but I don't think so. So we ended up settling on this make your own makeup kit for my niece. Cause she seems to be, I don't want to say that my daughter is immature or whatnot, but my niece seems to be more into kind of <clears throat> more grown up -y, grown up -y things, if you will, than my daughter who still likes her toys. Um, so I thought that this might be nice for my niece and I think this was $19.99. So it falls right within budget. I usually have a twenty to twenty-five dollar budget, so it falls right within budget. I don't really know anything about this. Um, they did have a couple other kits from the same manufacturer along the same lines. They had a make your own perfume kit, and then they had a make your own something else kit. My daughter really wanted to get Gabby the perfume kit, and I just there's nothing worse than having a scent in your home that's awful. <laughs> and without knowing what that stuff smells like, I just, I didn't want to do that to my sister-in-law. <laughs> to have her, you know, to give her daughter something that was, um, that could potentially stink up her whole house. So, um, oh, that's from another store. Okay, so I went and checked out the clearance area and they had for 10 cents, 
So definitely look um, at your Walmart. They have the prison paper, holocaust, uh, holographic paper on clearance for 10 cents for a two pack. I thought that was a really great price. I grabbed both of them that they had and I grabbed, this was also in the clearance, this um, sort of very thin uh, glitter paper. It's kind of a very subtle, very fine glitter, not like a big, a big chunky glitter. It's called bubblegum color and it does kind of look like bubblegum. They had, they didn't have a price on this, but it was in the clearance and it rang up as 10 cents as well. So these were the only three packets that they had. I would have grabbed more if they had it. 10 cents is a really good deal. And let's see. Oh, they had two huge trays of Halloween and fall ribbon that were marked as clearance. This was the only style that was actually ringing up at the clearance price. So this is the only one I grabbed. They're a dollar regularly priced. This one rang up as 10 cents. Every single other one Every single other style on both of those trays rang up at full price a dollar. This, even though it said clearance, this was the only one that rang up at, at, as 10 cents. So I just grabbed one of them. Not particularly Halloween-y, so I can use it for other things. I was not all about taking the time at Walmart to try to find an employee to actually help me. So <laughs> I don't, I don't do that. Um, oh, I got a few non-crafty things. I do, I use the Ibotta app. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll probably talk more about that another time, but I got some rebates, uh, for buying some products that I already kind of use, um, my deodorant. I get the, the clinical protection because I am a sweaty, smelly person. And I grabbed a new mascara and I think I got $2 back on either, on each of those. And I, they've already paid me for that. So, um, I bought it is basically, um, an app for your phone that. Uh, if you buy specific products, you get you get some money back. So normally, I don't know if it's it's universal universal, but normally Walmart does not have the best price on stuff. At least our Walmart. So we try not to buy anything at Walmart. Like this is like six bucks at my grocery store. It's five ninety nine normal price at my grocery store, and it's it was like seven ninety eight at Walmart. But Walmart that was the only one that was doing the rebate or six ninety eight or something so it ended up this one time it ended up being a little bit cheaper at our Walmart. Um I forget I forget the exact numbers but it was it was about a dollar cheaper to get it at Walmart with the rebate. And of course they don't our grocery store doesn't really carry makeup stuff so um that's why we did that. <clears throat> but anyway so yeah our Walmart is not usually the cheapest. We have a really great grocery store here in New England. Perhaps you've heard of it. They've been Worldwide news uh, a couple years ago, um, Dumula's Market Basket is our favorite grocery store. We're here in New Hampshire and New England where we love our Dumula's. So if you don't know anything about that, uh, Google the Market Basket story. <clears throat> our favorite grocery store. Okay, so the other, other things that came from Walmart, just a couple of things for shakers that I'm, um, I'm also going to make the snow globe shaker version of this as well. I'm going to do some shakers, some this way that you've already seen. So I didn't have a lot of kind of white stuff to use inside the shakers. So I just grabbed two packages of this confetti glitter. And I think it was only $1.44 for a package. And I suspect this will go a long way, just kind of like a little pinch. I just grabbed two because they didn't they didn't have a lot. And I, didn't, I wasn't sure if this was gonna be a case where I'll like it and I'll wish that I had a backup and I just don't. And then I grabbed a jar of white glitter and speaking of wishing you had a backup I um, I hauled those little sequin cups that um, from Blitzy I think it was last week or the week before and I bought the green and the pink versions and I think they were only a dollar or two dollars for the eight little cups of sequins and in, in the varying shades and I went back yesterday or last night because I placed a Blitzy order last night and they're all gone <laughs> in every color. So I really wish that I had just trusted them and ordered more and lesson learned. If you see a really, really good price on something like that, definitely, um, definitely just, just take the plunge. Blitzy so far has been really great. Their customer service has been really great if something is wrong. So for I've learned my lesson from now on. If I see something, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Um, and the last stop that we made before we went grocery shopping, and I will not show you my actual grocery shopping haul because that would be very boring. Um, I needed a new charger for my iPhone. Woohoo! Here's a generic knockoff. It was on clearance for 12. 
Uh, my husband picks this stuff out. Our rabbit eats cords, so unfortunately we go through cords a lot. It's not that we allow her access to the cords, it's that she climbs stuff sometimes. Like, uh, she will climb onto the bed and then climb onto the, the table where the cord is held and she'll bite it and she'll jump down and nobody will ever know that she's up there. So we don't even know that she can get up there <laughs> until we notice that there's been a, you know, then the phone's not charging and it's like, oh, what the heck? And there's a little nibble in the cord and then you've got to rearrange it. And then like the same thing next week. This one is wrapped in some sort of like fabric cable or something. So my husband believes that it might be bite proof. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Either way, I needed one, so perfect. I'd like, ideally, I'd like a brand name iPhone cord. I think a lot of the problems I have with trying to upload um, my videos and stuff to the computer so that I can upload them to YouTube is directly related to the fact that I'm using generic knockoff cords and the phone isn't recognizing them when I go to try to do that. Okay, so the other thing that I got at TJ Maxx was wrapping paper, holiday wrapping paper. I have two reasons for needing wrapping paper. Number one, I forgot to buy some birthday wrapping paper at Walmart. <laughs> and number two, I recently signed on with my Etsy shop to offer gift wrapping on some of my wares and I needed something a little bit nicer looking than my normal kind of cheap um, wrapping paper that I'll use for my daughter and stuff. I figure worst case scenario, if nobody ever buys that service for me, I'll have some pretty wrapping paper for our personal um, personal presents this year. They had a few different varieties uh, at different price points. These were $2.99 a roll. They look and feel kind of like wallpaper. They're textured. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so that's what we got. This one is I really like with the different colored foiled mousse. Is really cute. And then the Christmas trees. And my niece will just have to get over it if her present is in Christmas wrapping paper. <laughs> she might not even notice. So yeah, that's what I had to show off. My, my little shopping hauls and my flip book. I've actually got quite a lot going on today. I have a giant post office run to do today. And that's why I'm kind of anxious to get the flip book packed up. Um, I also have all of the sales that came in over the weekend and I kind of got those done and packed up as they were coming in. And also I need to go to the hospital, which is kind of the home office. The clinic that I volunteer for um, is associated with a hospital. So my, my volunteer coordinator or in essence my boss, if you will, works at the hospital itself, has an office there and I need to get her this uh, get well soon card that we have for one of our one of our friends who's out with surgery so I need to get that to her so that she can mail it to Penny um, because I am not part of HR I do not have access to her address to mail it out and my boss does so she's agreed to do it so that's right so those are all things that need to be taken care of today so I'm gonna let you go. I do have look for later this week. I'm gonna be uploading a video where I made some distress uh, gift tags, um, and I do have some orders coming in. I have um, I did some. I was very naughty <laughs> and did some shopping over the weekend. I have another Blitzy order coming. Um, I have an Etsy order coming, um, and a few other things that I can't remember right now. Uh, I think I have a cherry on top order that I've placed, which uh, probably won't be here this week. They did. I did get um, a notification saying that two of the items they didn't have, but they expect to have them within a week. Uh, but it'll. But the whole order will be delayed on shipping until they get they get all of the items. And I'm just taking a quick peek at my emails receipt. So Blitzy cherry on top. Oh, and I did. I placed a small. Uh, close to my heart clearance order. So those are all going to be coming in this week. Um, except for cherry on top. So I will be back at another time. I hope you guys have a really, really great week and that you had a nice weekend. I'm just going to be ooh, running around like crazy over here. Uh, but anyway, uh, take care and I will talk to you later. Bye.